just flagged this officer over. I want to make sure his unmarked car is uh, legal. Sir. How are you? Good. Hey, the reason I stopped you today is because I saw this car was unmarked. Is this a, a registered unmarked vehicle for undercover work or? Okay, you're not allowed to have patrol cars that are that are unmarked. Are you aware of that under Washington State RCW? Mm, I'd have to look it up. But... Yeah, you really should do that. Um, so there's no mark. There's no indication on this car. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your name? Uh, Canfield. Canfield okay, Deputy Canfield. Canfield. Can I see some ID? Can you see some ID of yes. me? Yes. Yeah, I need to yeah. make sure that you're... No, you, you need to prove... You're driving an unmarked vehicle, so I need to make sure you're actually a police officer and that you are... You have the authority to be driving this vehicle because you seem to be kind of doing something that's uh, clearly in violation of Washington state law. So I just want to make sure you are who you say you are, okay? Okay. Well, okay. Mr. Simon, I'm not going to play the game with you. This isn't a game. It's called law. Okay. Yeah. So can I see some ID and maybe license, registration, proof of insurance, sir? No, I'm not going to show you that. You're not going to identify yourself. Yeah, I'm Deputy Canfield with the Sheriff's Office. You, but how do I know that that's uh, that uniform is real? Okay. How do I know that you are who you say you said you were who? I didn't say who I was. Okay. Well, I know who you are. That's good. Okay. okay. Yeah. So here's the thing. It's and 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 I'm 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 trying to be fair about this. Here's the way the law works. I'm just going to educate you a little bit. Okay. The way the law works is hold that you, as the officer, are legally I'm responsible. No, hold on. I'm, let me finish, and then I'll let you talk. Okay. You, the officer, are legally responsible. To back up out of my window. You no, I'm good. Can you show me some ID and prove that you are a police officer? Yeah, this is my ID right here. That's not ID, sir. Yeah, well, this if I showed you a badge, if you stopped me, would you take that as ID? Come on, that's, that, let's be reasonable. I just want to make sure Do you have any, what's your badge number? Do you have, you, 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 you are legally obligated to identify yourself. Like I did. Deputy Canfield with the Sheriff's Office. No, actually, as such, under your authority, also under Washington State law, you're required to identify yourself, not just your name, but to show identification. I'm required by law to show you my what? If you, when you're involved in a stop, you're, you are required to show that you are an officer, if requested. A, a, a badge? Anybody can have a patch, sir. Okay, what about... This, can, I mean, is it a big deal for you to show me some ID just so I can make sure? I can show it to you. That'd be cool. That's all I want. I just, I just like to make sure that okay. I'm concerned. Here's, here's the concern, mm -hmm. and I'm not, I'm not being combative here. The concern is that when you have a patrol car that's totally unmarked, let's say, you know, our, my daughter it's, it's, gets stopped. It's brand new. It's brand new. Okay, so you guys will be marking it then. Absolutely. Okay, that's well. That's yeah. why didn't you say that? You didn't tell me that to start with. Right. I mean, I get that. You it, kept on going and going and going. Give me, didn't give me the, really the opportunity. No, that's not true. You didn't. You, you said it. You affirmed that it was unmarked. You didn't say that. Uh, that it would be marked, but I, I do, you are under, I do want you to be aware. Canfield GT51, can I see? Yeah, you can see it, you're not gonna hold it in your hand though. Okay, let me just get a close look at it there, it's fine. Does that match this? That looks, that looks legit to me, I appreciate it, I do, mm -hmm. I really do. You driver's license? You got a driver's license too, I appreciate I, it. I do. I appreciate the cooperation. Okay. Um, here's the thing, and if, if you just got the car, I get that, I mean, if you had said that, it doesn't, it doesn't technically change the law. If, if you're on, are you stopping people in this vehicle? Yeah, I am. Okay, it's completely in violation of Washington state law, and you are culpable in that, the way the law is written. Okay, so, so you've admitted that you are in violation of Washington state law and that you are stopping people in this vehicle. So what I'm going to encourage you to do, um, I'm not going to I'm not gonna write you up today. What I am going to encourage you to do, to do is take this car back. <laughs> I know you're smiling, but, but we the citizens do have a right to hold you guys accountable. If I'm in open violation of the law, I mean, I, I, could, I could call a sheriff out here and demand that you be written up for this because you are in open violation of Washington State RCWs, okay? okay. So I, I, I just want you to talk to the sheriff about it. We have, there's a problem with this in Soap Lake as well, and this is why I'm bringing this up lately. I, I really want you guys to be aware of this. I want you to follow along. Do you understand the safety concern? I mean, let's say my daughter's, it's 12 o'clock at night, my daughter's out driving around, and she doesn't drive yet, but you get the idea. And, and she gets stopped by what is supposedly a police officer, but there's no markings whatsoever. And that's one of the main reasons 
that the law was written. I mean, does that make does that seem reasonable that the car would should be marked? Uh, to an extent, the problem, the re- the reason why is we had with the you've seen the new design, the new design of our our new patrol cars compared to just the, the old one. This is, is just just the stripe, right? The new style is kind of like the okay. more modern, I guess, if you will. Right. We were having a bunch of those that were peeling. Okay. And they were coming off. Right. Okay. It happened to my partners, who's it's a brand new Dodge Charger from last year. Right. They're trying to get that all settled, and it's now a three-piece de- design instead of a one-piece design. Right. So that's why I'm waiting in line to get, okay. to get that. Even here, the concern, even if it's a temporary sticker, that would be good though, because then people yeah, know right. it's an officer, yeah, right. Right. and the the law doesn't make an exception for new cars. I mean, I understand that we, you know, we, we people want to be reasonable, but if but you you should not be stopping people in a car that's unmarked because that's when the safety concern really comes in. Somebody doesn't know if they're being stopped by a police officer. So understand that every time you stop somebody in this car, you are you are in violation of Washington state law, and you can't do that. So if we see you stopped in this car. And, and, and have doing patrol stops in this car, we're going to have a problem because it's illegal. So I just talk to the management about it. Get a car that, that's marked until you can get this one. Make some temporary stickers. I mean, you know, this is Grant County. You guys can print out some stickers. And uh, it's not a big deal to, to get your car marked. Okay. Okay? Well, and I've, I've also filed a report of, of Soap Lake because what's happening in Soap Lake is they, they're driving around all their patrol cars on mark. So the safety concern is even larger. It's not like they just got a car and they haven't had a chance to mark it. All of their cars are unmarked. Oh. That, yeah, I, I don't, I, I work for the sheriff's office. So. The sheriff's office is actually legally responsible, though, if you have a local PD that's in violation of the law, you guys are legally responsible to... Uh, no, oh, well, I'm, I'm, did you... I'm a deputy. But I understand, but you can go to the sheriff and you can say, hey, we need to deal with this. I mean, you, you swore an oath to the Constitution and it's your job to look out for the community. And that's what we want to see from you. Okay. Okay. So what are we going to do about getting this car marked? How soon is that going to happen? You could follow me to the sheriff's office and we could go sit down with Sheriff Tom Jones and we could discuss that if that's what we want to do. I, I would be willing to do that. Yeah. That'd be, I mean, I just want to make sure, it, my main thing is I want to make sure it gets dealt with. I want to make sure Soap Lake gets in, pli- in compliance. Okay. And I don't want to be unreasonable with you guys, but I want you to be in compliance too. I don't want us to have unmarked cars out on the streets, uh, you know, stopping people when we when we have no way to tell for sure if uh, if they're legitimate. So what we can do, we can go over there now, or we could have an appointment later if if you want to. But I I do want to get this issue addressed. It's 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 whatever you want to do. If you want to call, and make an appointment with the sheriff. Is he fine. in right now? I, I, he was in a half an hour. Ago. So okay. If, you, if that's what you want to do, request that I come to the sheriff's office and I'll meet you there. No yeah. Problem. Well, can we do? If, so can we just drive over there now, or do I need to uh, request? To, You're gonna need to call, and he's got. I. I. Because you just there. suggested that we could drive over there right now and talk to him. Once you call. Okay. Make an appointment with him. We can do that. That's okay, fine. so we can't go over there right now he's and a talk very to him. Busy man. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. Can, yeah, I understand. Yeah. yeah. So okay, but you 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 just said that we could go right over there, so I just wanted to make sure of that. Okay, so. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do is not to be stopping people in this car mm-hmm. and to check out the RCW. And I'm happy to email you a copy of that if you want to give me a card, but I'm sure you, you can find that's not hard. Um, and it's you as the officer are responsible if you're driving the vehicle mm-hmm. to be in, in, in accordance with that law. And this, unless this is a specially authorized vehicle exempt for undercover work or something like that, which it doesn't sound like it is. No, no yeah. there's not really any such that I'm aware of that. I mean... There's and not any such what, patrol. right? And you're, and that's the key is, you, is with the traffic here. right? And you cannot run traffic in an unmarked car. It's illegal and it cannot be done. That's the law. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you something right here. You can take with you. I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you about it. But no, it's not an argument. I'm just informing you on the law. Well, you kind of are. You know, whatever. technically, if for being an open violation of the law, I mean, you you could be, um, you're legally responsible. So right. if you continue so, doing this, you could be arrested for that. I, I could be arrested for driving an unmarked car? For driving an illegal vehicle and refusing to comply? Okay. Are you uh, saying that if somebody else was driving an illegal vehicle and wouldn't cooperate, that they wouldn't be arrested? I know. How, how, so, how are you comparing? I mean, it's kind of apples and oranges. It's not apples and oranges. You're driving a vehicle on, on, on Washington State roads, on a Washington State highway, okay. and it's in violation of the law, and you are, you're accountable to the law just the same as, as me and anybody else is, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that the RCW there? Uh, this is this is this is just one that came to the top of my head about it's 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 eluding, and just take it with you, read it. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you about it. 
This, this is about what now? That is eluding. What the prongs are for the law for Sony to be guilty of eluding. Okay, it's just one that came. So, are you eluding me? Is that what you're saying? Because because sitting here talking to you, Gavin. Well, I don't. I really don't understand. Have I ever eluded you? What do you? What is this? this? Nothing to do with you. This is just a a law that came to my mind. Okay. What prongs we have to meet? Right. Okay. So, and and the thing is, I mean, it's 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 actually interesting you bring this up. Because when I asked, when I stopped, and I appreciate that you stopped, and I really do. I mean, you didn't try and run away and ignore me. I mean, I, I respect that. When I, when I challenged Ryan Cox with the Soap Lake PD on this, mm -hmm. he actually did elude me, and he did run away, and I had to chase him down to the police station to question him on this, and he was real combative and belligerent about it. So I appreciate your calmness on it. I really do. Yeah. But I, I do want to see this dealt with. So talk to the sheriff. You know, I'll follow up. But... Get these things marked. This is this is the people's safety we're talking Mr. about. Mr. Simon, you have to realize that a deputy doesn't go and mark his car. And you, this is like mm -hmm. this is like you. No, legally you can, you have to refuse to drive the car if it's not marked because the law says you cannot. You as the officer, no officer shall on a public highway in Washington State operate What's his official vehicle. Doing? I'll have to look up the number. If you don't I, know it off the top of your no, head. I don't know it off the top of my head. Do you know it off the top? It. I don't think that's a big no, consideration. Because I'm not aware of that. Yeah, and, and well, that's a concern to me though. I actually know the law, and, and you don't know it at all. So, okay. I, yeah. Okay. So, if so you if, if you so search, well, do you have if you have internet and you search for it, uh -huh. it'll be right there. So, so what am I searching? Search, I, search for Washington RCW. Yep. Washington marked RCW? marked vehicles, something like that, and Mark it'll come up. Vehicle? Mark, Mark vehicles. patrol vehicles. It actually applies to any municipal vehicles. Okay. It's four six dot. I, I I just forget the numbers off the top of my head. Four six dot uh, publicly owned vehicles to be marked. Probably that sounds like about right. This is about public. Owned no, it's it's in, yeah publicly owned any publicly owned vehicle including county police and it opens up with with directing at the officer specifically so and that's the key for you so you want to read this because even if they give you an unmarked vehicle you're legally obligated to not operate that unmarked vehicle because the law is defined at the officer and says you as the officer shall not operate the vehicle on the public roadways a publicly owned vehicle that's not legally marked that's good to know. I'll, I'll I mean, yeah, I mean, just follow up on it and let's just get it taken care of. It, it doesn't have to be a big deal. And I understand that there's certain instances, as is referenced in the law, where there is exemptions. But patrol vehicles are not included in that. So, OK. Sounds good. All right. Have you be safe weekend. out there, Mr. Canfield. Take care. A5694C is the license number, folks. Our police are not exempt following the law and that is how you stop a police officer i just he was driving by i flagged him over and it's good that that he was that he was cooperative you know these guys know me they don't particularly want to get into it with me i get that but even though i was challenging him on the law he was he was cordial he's openly violating the law it, it, it kind of blows my mind that these guys they're out on the streets writing us citations for violating the laws, you know, RCW this, RCW that, and then they're out openly violating the laws and, and putting the public in danger. So that was a Grant County Sheriff deputy, uh, the Soap Lake police here in town. They're doing it even worse. All their patrol cars are unmarked and they are well aware of what they're doing in Soap Lake. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep them accountable. We'll keep the conversations going. And we do have a right to demand that these guys be cited. We do have a right to take action. If officers are an open violation of the people, we the people do have a right to address that issue and to hold them accountable all the way up to our sheriffs, our elected officials, hold their feet to the fire. So Tom Jones, sheriff, get the cars legal. That's what we want to see around here. Do not, do not make us see patrol cars running around on our streets, stopping our children, when there's no identification on them whatsoever. And absolutely, we do have a right to see more than just the patch on someone's shirt. If, if my kids are being stopped by a vehicle, especially an illegal unmarked vehicle, they have a right to know. Some people may say, well, this is petty. Leave the officers alone, Gavin. It's not petty to hold our police accountable. And this isn't just one issue. This isn't just about police or sheriff. It's not one thing.
It's accountability. It's the lawlessness we see all across America where government disdains the people and disdains the law and thinks that they're above the law. We can't allow that. We the people are the sentinels of our liberty. The Constitution is a law that we placed on government. We the people must hold them accountable to the law. We are the police of the Constitution. We enforce the Constitution. Somebody will say, well, Gavin, this isn't particularly a constitutional issue. No, this is a Washington state law issue. But these guys are obligated to respect law and liberty and to follow the rules that we the people placed upon them. All right, take care, guys. Always keep it firm, but principled. And I think we had a good conversation here with this guy today. I think he'll check out that law and hopefully they'll get in compliance. He was a little patronizing to me because, you know, he knows who I am and this and that. But, hey, we'll let that slide. Take care, guys.